I find it daunting to think that we're allowing weapon systems to decide who is the enemy and who can be killed and taken out and removing humans. And the, the counter-argument is that what's the difference that you have a, a human deciding to kill or a machine deciding to kill? But the, the difference is quite enormous because A, humans think slower than machines. So therefore, just in that time span, there is room for uh, guilt, understanding, empathy, etc. Which I think is good things when it comes to um, life and death. And the, 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 the scary scenario is that you could have warfare over in seconds, technically. If my perceived enemy has a, uh, a weapon system that in seconds can take a decision and be operationally ready and then be operationally over before we've started talking about it, then you can't afford to be still in the talking mode. So quite quickly, everyone needs to be on the same level. Therefore, this discussion needs to happen right now. And we need to decide in entities like the UN what is okay. And we've done it before. We've done it with landmines. We did it during uh, Star Wars and we decided collectively as a planet not to weaponize satellites. There was a report that came out earlier this year about malicious AI, the malicious AI report, identifying risks and uh, strands where uh, rogue nations, terrorists, uh, basically your bad guys, what they can use artificial intelligence for. And um, there was a, uh, there's a load of things in terms of recommendation like having a, a code of ethics when you build AI. But I think ultimately it will be building good AI to identify and disarm bad AI, so, so to speak. And a few things that we need as, as a planet to decide. And we've, we've done it before successfully. And it's easy to go to be cynical and say it's impossible. I, I just don't buy that as an argument, that it's difficult and impossible. I think at least we need to, to start and we need to go to the negotiation table. And I'm a firm believer in using diplomacy. But what we can do, uh, either Sweden or Europe as a, as a continent, we can take the stance that we can take countries to the negotiation table and decide what we're going to do with AI. And there is a really important role to play, which is much more ambitious in terms of what type of society we're building, but also much more realistic uh, than becoming the global leader. Become the global leader in what it means and how we're going to do it and the values that are going to underpin future.